United States Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi departed Taiwan on August 3rd after a short but controversial visit. Pelosi's visit on August 2nd added to the already brewing tensions between the United States and China. Pelosi through her visit claimed to reaffirm the US support to Taiwan and promote shared interests and advance a free and open Indo-Pacific region. However, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Hua Chunying hit back, saying that the move will have serious consequences. In 1979, the U.S. government made a clear commitment in the communique on diplomatic ties that the United States of America recognized the People's Republic of China as the sole legal government of China. As an integral part of the government, the U.S. Congress should strictly abide by the country's foreign policy. As number three in the U.S. government, the Speaker of the House of Representatives traveling to Taiwan on the U.S. military plane is by no means an unofficial act. If the U.S. goes its own way, it will be responsible for all the serious consequences. The official position of the United States, both internationally and bilaterally, remains that there is only one China and that Taiwan is a part of China. So such a visit is bound to create some controversy as it gives out an indirect message that the US recognizes Taiwan as a territory independent from China. The US has recently been intensifying its encirclement of China and this visit has been criticized as a deliberate act of provocation intended to bait China into a response. The spread of US military presence across the South China Sea and the demonization of China in the US press have both long been matters of record. If you took a poll of the American people and said, anybody want to have a military clash with China over the status of Taiwan? Well, how many members are there in Congress? That's the number of people who would vote yes. And for Nancy Pelosi to go to Taiwan, a part of China, and treat it as an independent state, while Biden is the president, meaning it could only happen with Biden's blessing, it's viewed by China, and this is what the Chinese call it, a strategic level provocation. And the defense minister of China said, we are prepared to fight till the end if anyone tries to change the status of Taiwan. Can you be any more blatant? If the Chinese are calling it a strategic level provocation, that means they're going to respond. Both sides start to climb the escalation ladder. That's how war starts. Pelosi's visit has been met with a number of protests across the world. Dozens in the streets of Taipei protesting her visit on August 2nd and 3rd. Residents of Nancy Pelosi's congressional district also protested her trip to Taiwan. This is not going to be resolved in a day or two or a month. This will continue. And the reason why we're so concerned, those of us who are working on peace, for the world between the United States and China is because basically the United States have exhausted all the Cold War's tactics against China. Trade war, high-tech war, lawfare, propaganda war. Now the next step is war, real war. We need to prevent that at all costs. We need to stop that war. Because once that war happens, it would be devastating, calamitous consequences to the whole world, and in particular to Chinese Americans. So I don't know where you're going to be, where I'm going to be, if this war happens. So let's prevent it. Let's make sure that this doesn't happen. Use all of the pressure that we have to bring it down, bring down the temperature, and make sure that we will not go into war. For China, reaffirming that Taiwan is not a separate country is extremely important given the historic balkanization of the nation by imperialist powers. China was fragmented by Western imperialist powers during the century of humiliation from 1839 to 1949. It led to the separation of Macau, Hong Kong, and Taiwan from the rest of the nation. Since the 1949 Socialist Revolution, the Chinese government has successfully and peacefully reunified the regions of Macau and Hong Kong. The PRC seeks to do the same with Taiwan, colonized by Japan, then passed over to the United States after World War II. The Chinese constitution states, Taiwan is part of the sacred territory of the People's Republic of China. It is the lofty duty of the entire Chinese people, including our compatriots in Taiwan, to accomplish the great task of reunifying the motherland.